All right, so what's going on guys? I put you guys on a tripod just because I don't really use that tripod. So uh, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. We're growing really fast. Uh, well, not really fast, but we're growing steadily every single day and we're almost at 16K. So thank you to all the new subscribers and thank you for all the good feedback I've been receiving on all the videos saying you guys like my Civic and all the stuff I do. So I really appreciate it guys. Everything will pretty much like every little comment counts. And I read all your comments and of course, there's a lot of stupid comments, but I mean, I could care less about that. But today, as the title says, I did pick up a new wing for the hatch. The reason why I picked up a new wing for the hatch is because with my current spoon wing, with the J-Bullet bumper and everything, it won't look good. It won't, I think it won't fit the aggressive look compared with like the, well, with the whole kit, I feel like with the spoon wing, it won't look good. So I needed something a little more aggressive to compensate for the kit. And before anyone comments or sends me messages on Instagram, the spoon lip and everything else on the car SR bumpers are not for sale. I am keeping that so I can switch off and on between the J-Bullet kit and then the SIR looks, SR spoon look. Because um, you guys know me, like I had two different liveries. I had a, this ripped off the livery, slant forwarder, had a, another coupe. It's just, I like changing styles. I don't like keeping my car looking the same because if my car looks the same for so long, I just get bored of it and I just want to do something else to it. So that is one reason why I'm keeping the SR bumpers and all that so I could change off and on when I feel like doing it. You know, like one day I'll keep put the spoon look on, next day I put the SR look on, then second day I put on the, or on a different day, J-Blood, you know, you know. Hope you guys understand what I'm saying. But yeah, so a uh, huge shout out to my friend Carlos. He has that pepper white, not champ white, pepper white EK hatch and I'll post a photo right here. And uh, yeah, I'll tag his Instagram right here too. So just give him a follow. He has a really clean hatch build, and of course, his EG that's always in my videos. So he has that EK hatch and he has that EG hatch, but slowly pointing out that car. So that's kind of sad. If you're watching this, Carlos, I know you're watching this, but that means something's gotta move on. So I picked up the wing off his car, which is right here. This looks like a CTR wing, but it is a Seeker V1. Um, how you can tell is it's slightly more aggressive. The CTR wings, this portion is smaller and the Seeker V1 wing flares out more and also the flap in here uh, curves up more. Um, okay, can you guys even see that? Yeah, so it's slightly more aggressive which I think will compensate the J-Blood kit and see what rear bumper I have uh, coming. And this is a CTR base plate, OEM. Because um, ICB Motorsports sells the V1 wing for roughly 580 bucks, and that does not include shipping or tax. You also will need a CTR base plate, which people sell for like roughly like 200 bucks. So he sold to me as a complete set for a good deal, and thank you very much, Carlos. Um, this will be getting, of course, paint match, not the base plate, just the wing itself will be getting paint match, and it is fiberglass. Really nice wing and more aggressive really excited we'll be making a trip up to Nima's garage probably i say like in a week or two to pick up my side skirts and then mid january is when my rear bumper comes in so that's when i will go pick up my rear bumper and then mock everything up see how the fitment is we already know how good the fitment is on the front bumper this wing of course will fix since it is a oem base plate off the ctrs and after that we'll be dropping off everything to paint not the car just the kit and then uh, mount up for 2018. I feel like my 2018 setup will be a little more aggressive and I will be having new wheels. I love these T37s, but I'll be changing the wheel setup also when I put the kit on, but I'm not letting go of the T37s. I'm still keeping them because, yeah, just T37s. <laughs> so they're not gonna be for sale. Nothing's gonna be for sale. Unless I post it on my Instagram, okay guys? So what we're gonna do now is actually test fit that wing on the hatch and I'm gonna put the front bumper back on also which is chilling up here and I really need to go buy a storage rack or a fat ass rack to put right here uh, we're cleaning out the garage more this weekend so yeah we'll have more space for more car parts my SR lip is still in the spoon box uh, so I need a well I'll probably just keep the box or some shit but um, yeah so where does I mock this up and here's a better look at it and that nice ass pepper white paint. But yeah, so that's just over here. I just have the bumper just like dangling off of it by one tab. 
sorry, loose. And I did plug up my bumper pull that I had. I used a plug that I found from O'Reilly's and I sprayed it, but I feel like I should have clear coated it, but uh, it's whatever. And uh, I'm gonna do the same thing to the back of my hatch. So I'm gonna delete my wiper, get the plug and the paint it so there's not just a black dot there and get it uh, yeah, painted. And I'm gonna take out the spoon wing right now and take out my front bumper. And also, if you guys remember, um, I know some of you guys commented that I had no front bumper support, that little bash bar beam, but I actually just put one on there and I rattle canned it real quick uh, with the leftover paint I had. Also, before I take off the front bumper, I actually did buy a uh, OEM c tear grill, so that should be on its way soon. And I think the c tear grill would look a little bit better with this lip especially. So, yep, I'm just weigh on my c tear grill and get it the outer bezel on the seats are real paint match and yeah should be have a should be having a new look in the front for now while everything else comes in check this out guys i got my what is that take off that clip nope voila i have my bash bar <laughs> And it's color match, but there's no clear coat on it because I didn't want to waste the can, but I did paint it green or the leftover paint I had in the can. And yeah, we got scuffed and stuff, but whatever. Now the bumper lines up. And if you guys see my J-Blood bumper test fit video, you guys know that um, their driver's side headlight is sagged a little bit because it didn't have that little bracket for the headlight or right underneath the headlight to hold the bumper up. It's gonna fit amazing, it'll, it'll sit flush and I can always adjust it too. I'm gonna put that bumper on real quick and then we'll start taking off the spoon wing and mount it up and do side profile view. Even though it is missing side skirts and a rear bumper but wait on that guys, subscribe to see it in the future. So this clearly does look like a 992000. I still get comments about that why don't you just get a 9 2000 lip and get the uh, lip but it is not the same it's all one piece and fuck that looks so good i just need to get it painted and this right here just the oem sr bumper with a uh, spoon lip so yeah now i'm to put the j blood on and uh damn it's cool just have different options and i really need a rack in here or something Oh, I forgot how light fiberglass bumpers are. Let's make sure though. Is it? Oh yeah, that fits way better now with the bumper beam. But, um... I'm gonna just tap it off with one clip just so we can hold it. I'm not gonna mount it up or anything. Oh, how I cannot wait to get you painted. All right, now to take off my spoon wing and put on the seeker wing. That thing just needs paint, bro, look at that. And side skirts. Now, I never really got to show when I installed the spoon wing. My friend was over and he actually installed it for me, but uh, I can show you guys the difference between the two, well, I'll leave that there. So there is the Seeker V1 wing, more aggressive course, and then the spoon wing, which is literally a little, like, the spoon wing, which is just simple, but nice. And there is the stamp. Put sports. It's a really nice quality, and I can actually tell if a spoon wing is actually real from the outside. Whoa slippery is by this crease right here spoon weights are handmade and they're layered like this and they lay on bottom um, all the fake ones they wrap around and uh, 
yeah, just the split tells a lot on a Squidwing. But let's get to putting that on, and we'll put this back on right after. Cause it's gonna look weird with the white wing. Spoon goodness. Wow, that thing looks. Yeah, it needs the rest of the kit. Damn, that thing looks so nice and like with that little flare compared to um, OMC Terra wings. Seeker V1, looking real nice. Thank you very much, Carlos. I'll take care of it. And oh, I guess I can't really tell because the fucking wing's white. <laughs> oh, this looks so much better though. Definitely matches way more. Now let's go wait for the skirts. Damn, you guys think that looks good? Well, I'm not painted yet. Like this video, but damn, bro. I'm super happy. A bumper cannot look any better, and that secret wing cannot look any better. It just, yeah, it doesn't look that right with a uh, OEM rear bumper, but still looks nice though. All right, time to take this off, uh, both of these off, and put everything else back on, because still wait for everything else, just mocking everything up, and yada yada yada. I'm gonna put these back on, and uh, I'm gonna put these out of on the side of my garage for now. All the spoon goodies back on, and the front bumper, and one thing that I actually hated or that I wanted to fix on this car was the uh, city lights. Um, you guys all know the city lights are those little sockets down there which uh, light up when you just have it on like first click. Um, and this car, when it came with it, uh, or came with the headlights, it was missing one uh, city light socket. So luckily on my daily, it used to have JDM SR headlights too. So the city light sockets were still in there but just no bulb. So I took the city light socket off the daily and plugged it in here and put a bulb in. And now my city lights work, and I just love how city lights look. So, first click. Now, yeah, the corner light lit up, and the city light. And these look so good, especially in the evening, like when it's dark, like it's getting dark. And if you go in a parking garage or something, just with these on, it, it just looks so nice. It's like, yeah, it's just something super cool to have, and. Uh, yeah, I was a huge fan of it. I know Toyotas and other like cars have it too, but thank God I fixed that and I already cleaned everything up. I had a box laying around, so um, I mean the wing doesn't fit all the way, but I taped up the wing and put some wrap over it so it doesn't scratch while it's sitting in there. So the secret wing's in there, the J Blow bumper is back here, and just gotta wait for everything else and then get it all painted. So, and I really need to go buy a rack tomorrow. Probably go shopping for one with my dad. So we can put one in here, and uh, we gotta take that seat out and take some things out of here so we have more space. But thank God I cleaned up the garage though, because before I couldn't park this car in the garage or my previous car because of space. But when I left for Japan, I made space so I could leave my car in there. And ever since then, we've just been making more and more space in the garage so I could leave my car in here and also work on it. But still kind of small, and I don't know why you were here. I think my dad thinks my car leaks oil or something, but it doesn't even leak. Like, look at that. Super clean. It's dirty. Um, but yeah, so that's probably gonna be the end of the video and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not. And I always have new content coming out. I always say that because I always do. I'm always buying my car parts and all that. So, oh, and I will have a video on that on how like I afford everything. I already made one a while back, but this is like more updated one to like as of now stay tuned for that video and hope you guys uh, are looking forward to that video because i still get comments from my previous videos on how like i afford everything and yeah and i do pay rent i do have all my bills and shit so that's gonna be it for this video i still have a lot more stuff to install i do have to install my water temp sensor but that's waiting for my new radiator for that and also my extended ball joints um uh, that i have for the fronts that i haven't installed yet and uh, we'll get to that when the time comes. But 
yeah, so this is gonna be the end of it. So don't listen to others. Just build your car your own way and you guys will enjoy your car a lot more and just be happy with your car. That's what you're supposed to do. Be happy with it, drive the shit out of it and yeah, don't be scared to break anything. Like don't be scared to break a spoon lip. It's honestly just like material things, but it's just like you gotta pay to play depending on what you wanna buy. So yeah, peace out.